Hello everyone, my name is Arvid Krishnan and I work as a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this quick tip video, we're going to look at how to output a mass participation factor from a frequency study using SolarWorks simulation. In this study, you see that there is a bandsaw and a remote mass has been used to simulate the effects of a motor. After describing all the material properties for the different parts, connections have been used to specify a bonded contact condition. The bottom of the bandsaw is fixed and finally a coarse mesh is used to mesh this part. If you go to the properties of the study, 35 natural frequencies have been requested. Let's go ahead and run the study. It, it runs relatively quickly and you get to see the results, including the mode shape. One of the outputs available from a frequency analysis is the ability to look at the mass participation factor. So right click on results and select list mass participation. And this shows us the different frequencies and what is the normalized mass participation that it gets in each different direction. Right now we can see that the X, Y, and Z are close to 60% in each of the different cases. Another way to look at the same mass participation factor is also available. So once again, if you right click on results and go to define frequency response, you now have the ability to look at a cumulative effective mass participation factor. Why is this important? What this graph lets you do is it looks at what specific frequencies have contributed to what percentage of the mass participation factor. So as you can see right now at about 1330 hertz, we've reached very close to 60% of the mass participation in all three directions. As some of you would know, while doing a dynamic study, you proceed that with a frequency analysis, and you would ideally like to get a mass participation factor above a certain percentage before you do a frequency analysis. Hence, you select the number of frequencies that you want. In this case, it is visible that uh, after this point, all of these frequencies do not contribute much to the mass participation factor and hence a much lower uh, highest frequency can be used. This will help in reducing the minimum time step, which would help reduce the result file and also help reduce the computation time when doing a dynamic analysis. This output is extremely useful in visualizing it in this manner. I hope you found this quick tip video helpful. Thank you.